Hello viewers, today we are going to see static constructor and what is the use of static constructor. Okay, let's go and create one simple class called home. Okay, so here I am going to declare the two constructor, one is the static constructor of the class and the normal constructor. Okay, so this is the static constructor. Then again, I go and uh, declare so non-static constructor. Okay, and then I going to write in my console dot write line from static. Constructor. From default constructor. Okay, fine. Okay. So now I going to create the two instance of the class. Call it as home one equal to new dot home ok then again I create another instance called home 2 ok fine So I created the two instances of the class. So let's run this program. See here, uh, I got the three uh, result. One is from static constructor and from default and from the default constructor. See here, what is the scenario is? So I created the two instances. So first time when I create the instance, my static construct is executed and it's uh, return even the default constructor value. Then second instance, it's not returning my static, but it's returning my default constructor. So what is the static constructor use? So whenever the application first time create that instance of the class, so the static constructor will execute that time. So in the next time, static constructor won't be called and the another thing is static con constructor it won't be accept any kind of access modifier or any kind of uh, parameters let's go and try that so if i go and try to apply any access modifier over here it won't be accept because there is no modifier allowed. Even if you try to pass any parameter, see it's throwing that static constructor must be a parameterless. And another thing is, as we saw the result, static constructor will be executed before creating the instance of the class. So whenever the first time instance creates, it will be executed before the object. So it will be executed as the first element and then only the objects will be created. So that is the main case of the static constructor. If this case you want to be, in, uh, it, it has the advantage that uh, whenever the first time object created, it, it will be giving you the result. So the second time it won't be. So if I keep here breakpoint and then and here see so my program is not executed let's go and uh, go into that okay so it's executed see then my home controller is 
okay my default construct executor then let's pass to the second instance see this time static one being execute because already my program is running so it won't give you the result so automatically once my program stopped and uh, then first time you running then your static constructor will be executed hopes you understand uh, what is the use when it will be executed when it's needed and we have the what are the option we have static constructor and what at all we can't use thanks for watching the video stay tuned for more subscribe our channel if you are not subscribed before so that you will get regular notification if you if i upload the new videos